face. What is up, guys? Welcome to T Town Raids. My name is Travis, bringing you another war recap video. I'm over on Matter for my mini account today, going to show you some more three star attacks. Jump into the war log here. This is going to be a war against Morgut, Moruga Scorpion. And they used uh, two thirds of their attacks. They did a fairly good job. Uh, two star in our Town Hall 10. Struggled with our Town Hall 9s uh, and got some of our mini accounts. Most of their attacks were three star strategy attacks. And I think the clan's decent, but the war matchup was pretty unfair. We had a very very high advantage town hall wise uh, we didn't even have to attack Tushar but they had several town hall eights I don't believe we had any other than our mini account so not not the fairest war but still have some great attacks to show you. you're gonna start off here with number six an attack by TJ on number six here knicker rod I'm gonna pause it here and show you actually not gonna unpause it if you look over here on the top left and top right, he drops a giant and two wizards, and what he gets for the what is that eleven troop space? Uh, eight. He gets two defenses for about twelve troop space each. So for about twenty-five troop space, he gets four point defenses. He brings two golems, drops the golem in, golems, and he's gonna let them go in and tank. Creates the funnel, which it's already actually created. Didn't need to create one. He's got some Valks he's sending into the center, and once his golems get in there and start uh, absorbing some of that defense, he's going to go ahead and send in his Valks in. His Valkyries are going to go straight to that middle. And what he's wanting is, you can see he brought balloons for the back end, so he wants those balloons to wreck those air defenses in the middle. And as you can see, he, his smart move on TJ's part, he brings three hogs. He's going to see which way the kill squad goes. The queen's going to go one way, and then he's going to use the hog riders to take care of the other one, which is a, a really smart move something that I need to uh, adopt from TJ TJ and his attacks he always brings a couple hogs and they seems to help him drops his three hogs down to get the air defense on the left air defenses in the middle are already down once he knows that that air defense is going down he's going to send two targeted loons on the back side uh, golems are doing a nice job of tanking along with the barb king still got three balloons in the bag um, these back end balloons are uh, taking out the back end defenses pretty quick he's just waiting for uh, Waiting to decide which defense he's going to target. To sends the, the balloons on the far right at the 3 o'clock a little bit early. The Tesla is too much for him. He could have waited until the golems got over there. But like I said, he's still got his Barb King up. Still saved some cleanup wizards. And he got a minion. So a really nice attack on a, a solid, uh, a pretty solid level Town Hall 9. Not the best setup, but just to show you, you go in the steps, just, you know, he brought... He had a plan for the corners, plan for the middle, plan for the air defense, and then he brought some uh, finishing troops. He brought those balloons for the back end. So it's just a step-by-step -step process. Um, hopefully, I'll be bringing you some some videos here, just kind of how to walk you through uh, the three-star process, planning an attack, building an army, etc. So good attack, TJ. Gonna speed it up here. All right, gonna go down a few spots to an attack on their number nine. An attack by Cowboy Elite. And this is actually going to be a shattered Go Hog attack. <laughs> this is a base I tried and I actually failed on. Um, so TJ took what I was trying to do and made it much, much better. So he's going to go ahead and drop two golems, set a, a, a funnel so that his uh, kill squad uh, goes into the to the middle. What he's trying to do on on any Hog attack, you really just have to deal with the CC. And you got to deal with the Archer Queen. Two Golems and those Wizards backed up by his heroes are going to be more than enough. Once he knows that the Queen is aggro aggroed to the Barb King, he's going to send in a little bit of Hogs on the right to put, get, help push through. Then he's going to send his main Hogs over on the left. Saves a few Hogs just for pathing purposes. Drops his first heal. So now, now that he knows that uh, three of the Bombs are tripped, he's just really just got to not fall asleep and heal his Hogs. Uh, as they move throughout the base. So that's what he's going to do. Drops his second heal nice and early. Uh, bomb set goes off, but they're under heal, so that those hogs are fine. Drops his third heal. And as you can see, these uh, these uh, hog riders are just pass pathing up through this base under a heal the entire time, so they're not really under a threat. Uh, 
The Lava Hound over there pops on the right side, but he's still got his queen up. Goes ahead and drops a poison on him, and he's still got plenty of Hog Riders up. Barb King's beating on his hogs, but he has some cleanup wizards uh, for both sides. So, going to go ahead and speed it up. All the base, uh, the whole entire base is just being cleaned up. But I will say, now that we're back down to the three minute timer, you must save some cleanup wizards. If you don't, you'll end up with some high, high percentage two stars and one stars. Uh, today I just did a raid, had the base completely wrecked, did a 99% two star because my hog riders uh, didn't split up and clean up very well, and that's because I didn't save a cleanup wizard. Saved a cleanup archer, but it's just not the same. Good job, cowboy. All right, going to move up to number seven and show you. This is the same base that TJ just wrecked. This is actually a, a different way to wreck it. This is a bully attack from a 9.5 on a 9. And what he's going to bring, he's going to bring five golems, three jumps, a rage, and a heal. And what he's going to do is he's just going to use the jumps to open up this entire base. And then he's just going to use his hog riders for the back end. So a similar theme with TJ, except for he's going to approach it from a different angle. And he's going to uh, use jumps to uh, push his troops through just like uh, TJ did. So he goes ahead and drops all of his golems in a nice wide spread here. It drops the first jump, opening up that first compartment. Uh, wizards in behind. The wizards are nice and wide, so they can just kind of push through this base nice and slow, uh, using the golems out front as a tank. Uh, golems on the bottom are doing a nice job tanking. Actually, most of the wizards are dead, except for he's got a couple. Uh, going to go ahead and see that his golems are going to get hung up, so he's going to go ahead and drop his second hill or second jump, I'm sorry, in the middle, so the golems go ahead and push to the middle. And like I said, what you're really doing is you're just really being patient, waiting for the bombs to go off, and waiting for the golems to get to the backside. Once they get to the backside and the CC is taken care of and the queen goes down, uh, you just go ahead and let your hogs loose. And you got one heal, so you'll heal them up, and they're really not going to be under any threat. So as you can see, he drops his third jump uh, just to continue the push, opening the entire base up. And as you can see, he's already at 62% and still has 12 hogs up, so hasn't even launched his hogs. Decides to launch his hog riders from the bottom right. He's got one heal. He's going to just wait until they start taking a little bit of damage and then go ahead and heal him up. Just a couple of defenses left. Still got his Archer Queen up without the ability. Uh, hasn't even used the ability. Got the Barb King, a Barb King up, but his ability is not there. And some trips, a couple of Skeleton Traps, but it's not going to be enough. Drops his Cleanup Wizards, and this base is toast. Good job, Eric. So as you can see, not, not the greatest base design, but that's just more than one way to... To wreck uh, the base. So, saw, saw TJ do it, saw Eric do it. Alright, last attack of the day is going to be number 8 from Stevie. And Stevie always brings air attacks, so I like to shit feature his videos. Any three stars on a regular basis. So, what he does is he brings one golem. And what he's trying to get for this golem, anytime you're doing an air attack, he's got to get an air defense and he's got to get the archer queen and the cc that's all he needs so that's what you're trying to do whenever you're bringing a kill squad so he brings one golem a um, few wizards and a minion to create his funnel once all that trash goes down he's got a wall breaker he's gonna wall breaker in he's saving his bk uh, for uh, till the golem gets in there and starts tanking for the archer queen and the cc what that does is that makes your barb king stay up much longer because the instead of <clears throat> All of that damage going on your Barb King and him going down really quickly. All that damage goes on your Golem. As you can see, Barb King is just starting to take damage. Golem just now popped into Golemites and is going to go down. But gets the Archer Queen, gets the air defense. Archer Queen stays up. Still got a few wizards up. Goes ahead and pops the ability. Barb King is beating on a wall. Changes his mind because of the skeleton strap pops. He's going to go ahead and beat on that wall for a while. Get in there and take care of that expo. That's bonus. If you, anything extra that you can get is definitely bonus. Archer Queen goes around and actually gets a second air defense. <clears throat> That's also bonus. He's got four hounds. Typically what you want to do is you want to bring one extra hound per air defense that you uh, think that you're going to have to attack. Even gets the sweeper as bonus. So he's got only got two air defense and four hounds. So he knows that this base is toast. He's already at 39%. Um, all he's got to do is drop his hounds and his loons behind him and make sure to speed him up. And this base is over. So goes ahead and sends in his first hound. Targets uh, that first air defense drops heavy with his balloons on the first side because what he doesn't want is whenever that air defense goes down and if it, if it pulls away, he doesn't want those Teslas to, to annihilate his balloons. He wants to make sure they get a nice push through the, uh, the middle of the base. So he goes ahead and drops two hay spells. He goes ahead and drops his third hound as his hounds push over across. 
Uh, he's now he's just kind of looking to see when, when he can speed his balloons up into this last air defense. Sends his last hound in, and then he sends two targeted loons on the backside. There's not really much uh, a threat for them on the bottom, uh, bottom, bottom middle side, the seven o'clock side. So he decides to just kind of let his balloons work that way uh, after after they kill the defenses over at the six o'clock side. So as you can see. These attacks kind of start out a little bit slow, but um, once they start, the uh, bases go down extremely quick. So he's got a couple of hounds up. That's due to the reason that he's got a Town Hall 10 uh, troops. So, But it just it goes to show you that even at the Town Hall 9 level, you can do the exact same thing. You just got to be um, a little more precise. So good job, Stevie. All right, guys, not the greatest war for us. Um, we've had a couple of farming wars the last couple of videos, but I still like to show my, uh, my clan mates attacks because... Uh, we can all you can learn from learn from them or get some good practice in either war so all right guys if you haven't uh, hit the subscribe button go ahead and smash the subscribe button if, uh, if you, the most important way that you can help me is uh, leave a comment good or bad just so i can know uh, to keep bringing you these videos or uh, maybe switch it up to some different content that you guys are liking all right guys this is travis from t-town raids peace